Hi, it's Ron from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have for us to do this lacy shell infinity scarf. It's got a very pretty pattern to it. It's done in the round. This scarf measures 60 inches around and 8 inches wide. It's very easy to adjust the length and the width of the scarf and I'll go over that when we start working the pattern. I made this scarf using loops and threads cotton cream yarn. You're going to need one ball of this yarn to make this scarf. If you do it in the same size that I did, you won't use the full ball, but you're going to use about half of it. So about 250 to 275 yards. It comes in a 432 yard ball, 7 ounces, 395 meters or 200 grams. I used approximately 4 ounces of this yarn, which is about 250, 255 yards. Now depending on what your tension is, you might use a little more or a little less of this yarn. The color that I used is called violet. You will need a J or 6.0 millimeter hook. I'll be using my Clover Amore hook. A yarn needle to weave in your ends. You will want a stitch marker. You don't need to use one of these fancy locking stitch markers. You can use just a piece of yarn, a different color piece of yarn, or even a paper clip or whatever you use for a stitch marker. And you'll need a pair of scissors as well. Once you have all your supplies together, let's get started. Before I jump into today's tutorial, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's that little icon in the corner with my face on it, and you'll be automatically subscribed to my channel. If you like content like this and you want to be notified when I upload videos, there's a little bell notification there. You just click that and you can be notified whenever I upload a video. And if you like this video, um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and that lets YouTube know that you like my videos. So this lace shell infinity scarf is in a multiple of 12. So for to make the scarf the same length that I have made it, you're going to want a chain of 204. So when you're working your chain, you're going to be doing sets of 12 and you're going to get 204 chains. We're going to be slip stitching into the very first chain that we made but we're going to be, you need to be very careful not to have your chain twist. And there's a little trick to helping you not twist your chain. Once you get about, oh, 20 or so chains, maybe 25 chains going, you're going to take your hook out and pick up that first ch chain that you made and put it onto your hook. So we got so many chains right here. Just take your hook out. Keep your make sure your chain isn't twisted, and you're going to go down and put your hook into that chain, and you're going to go back over your chain, making sure it's not twisting, and put it back onto your hook. So now your chain is not twisted, and then you're going to continue working your chains till you get to 204. And what this will do is it'll help keep your chain nice and straight. So for today's tutorial, since I've already made my scarf, I'm going to be working in a little bit smaller piece just to show you how the pattern goes. But if you want to make the full size scarf, you're going to want a chain of 204. If you don't want your scarf to be that long, it should be approximately 60 inches around. If you want yours shorter or you want yours longer, just remember that you're going to be working in sets of 12. So once you have your chain, your base chain of 204 or whatever set number in multiples of 12 that you would like your your scarf to be, come on back and we'll start working the pattern. Now we have our chain completed. You should have 204 
chains. We're going to slip stitch to join and how we do that is we're just going to yarn over and pull it straight through to slip stitch to join. Now this chain right here is going to be our first chain to start round one. So we're going to chain one and this stitch right here is where we're going to put our first stitch right in here. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to put a half double crochet right back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and put one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So put one half double crochet into each chain all the way around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I've made it all the way back around. You should now have 204 half double crochets. We're going to slip stitch to that first half double crochet that we made and that ends round one. Now we're going to start using our stitch marker. To start round two you're going to chain up three. So one, two, three. and We're going to mark that first or that last chain that we made, the top of that chain as our first stitch. We're going to place four double crochets into that same stitch. So that chain three counts as our first double crochet. So we're going to one, two, three, and four. This is our first shell. It's our first shell of the of the round. So this is, starts round two. So we're going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and then the next stitch right here, we're going to put a single crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and then the next stitch, a single crochet. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, and then the next stitch we're going to put another shell, which is five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, and a single crochet. Then we're going to chain five again, one, two, three, four, five. Skip the next five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and in the next stitch, a single crochet. Skip two stitches, one, two, and in the next stitch, five double crochet shell, one, two, three, four, and five. Then skip the next two, one, two, and a single crochet. So you're going to continue this pattern all the way around. So you do your five double crochet shell, skip two, a single crochet, chain five, skip five, a single crochet. And then you're going to start your shell pattern again. So continue this all the way around to get back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round to show you how to end the round. I'm at the end of round two. I've just finished my last shell stitch 
and chain space. It's the last single crochet, and all we need to do is a slip stitch to join. So we're going to take out our marked stitch, take our stitch marker out, and we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into that marked stitch. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the stitch marker into this joined here, just so that you can take a look at what your work should be looking like. That's what your join should be looking like, and you should have your shell stitches and chain spaces all the way around. Now, of course, this is a smaller swatch, but you should have a much larger scarf. You should have 17 shells and 17 chain spaces. Let's grab that. To start round three, we're going to we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, then chain one, and we're going to single crochet into the next stitch that single crochet is actually the first stitch of the round. So we're going to go ahead and mark that stitch as our first stitch of round three. Then we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And we need to skip five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and it's going to bring us to the middle of the chain space. And that's where we're going to place a single crochet. Chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the next five stitches again. One, two, three, four, five, and that brings us to the center stitch of the next of the next shell. And we're going to single crochet again. Then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and that brings us to the middle of the next chain space. Again, we're going to single crochet. And that's all there is to round three. We're going to be chaining five, skipping five, and single crocheting. So continue this pattern all the way around, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round to show you how to end the round. I'm at the end of round three, and we just need to slip stitch to join. And we are still skipping only five stitches, so it might look like six. It's one, two, there's one, two, three, four, five. This is a chain stitch, so that's not actually a skip stitch. That stitch does not count. We're going to slip stitch into that marked stitch right there. And that ends round three. <clears throat> you should have 34 single crochets and 34 chain spaces. To start round four, we're going to sink we're going to slip stitch, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry, I have a little <clears throat> in my throat here. I apologize. We're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches or basically into these next two chain stitches you're going to slip stitch. I like to try to get under both of the the loops of that chain stitch just like that and slip stitch. So I'll go one and two. then chain one and then we're going to go ahead and just do a single crochet into that next chain stitch and that actually starts your round so that is your first stitch right there and we're going to go ahead and mark that stitch as your first stitch 
skip the next two chain stitches, one, two, and in that single crochet, you're going to place your first shell stitch. So that's five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to skip the next two stitches, which are the chain stitches, one, two, and then the next one, you're going to put your single crochet. Again, like I said, I like to get under both of those bars, but it's not necessary. It's just what I like to do. Then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the next five stitches, which is one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to be in the middle of that next chain space. And we're going to single crochet. Skip the next two stitches, one, two. It's going to bring us to that single crochet. And you're going to put a shell stitch in there, which is the five double crochets. One, two, three, four. Let me put a little more yarn. And five. Skip the next two stitches, one, two. We're back in the center of the next chain space and we're going to single crochet. And you're just going to continue that pattern of doing your shell stitch, skipping two, single crochet, chain five, skip five, single crochet. And then you're back to your next skipping two and shell stitch. So continue that pattern all the way around till you get back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. We're at the end of round four and we're just going to slip stitch to that marked stitch. Now again, just be careful that you don't count that chain stitch right here as a stitch. You're only skipping five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five, and that chain stitch there does not count. So it's not, you're not skipping six stitches. So we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch to that marked stitch, and we can go ahead and take the stitch marker out for now. You should have 17 shell stitches and 17 chain spaces. To start round five, we're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches. So one, two, and that brings us to the middle of our next shell stitch. So we're going to go ahead and chain one and single crochet into the next stitch. And that'll be the first stitch of our next round, which is round five. We're going to go ahead and mark that stitch as our first stitch of the round. This is going to be a chain, um, a chain five single crochet round. So now we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. We're in the middle of the next chain space, and we're going to go ahead and single crochet. Now if you find that your chain gets a little twisted like this, a little bumped up like that, just go ahead and give it a little bit of a tug and it straightens your chains right back out. So chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and you're at the middle of your next shell stitch. Go ahead and single crochet in that. Again, if your chains get twisted, just go give them a little tug. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. And you're in the center of your next chain space and you single crochet. And you're gonna continue that all the way around till you get back to the beginning 
and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. We're at the end of round five. We're going to go skip our last five stitches. Again, don't let that chain stitch there fool you and make you think you can't that this is the stitch you need to slip stitch into. Nope, you slip stitch into that mark stitch. The chain stitch does not count as a stitch. Now from, you should have 36 single crochets and 36 chain spaces at the end of this round. From here out, what we're going to do is you're going to repeat rows 4 and 5 four times. And that's going to be for row 6 to row 13. So you're going to go 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, till you get to row 13. So you're going to have four repeats of row 4 and 5. Once you get there, come on back and we're going to do one more row of the half double crochet to finish off the scarf. Since I'm going to be doing just a little bit of a sample swatch, I'm going to add just a couple rows on. I'm probably going to do one, maybe two repeats, and then I'll show you how to finish this last row. But to do the complete scarf, you're going to want to do four repeats to get that full eight inches. Or if you want your scarf wider, you can do more repeats. If you want your scarf narrower, you can do less repeats, but you're going to want to end on row five. So no matter how many repeats you do, you want to end on row five. So complete your repeats and come on back and we'll finish off our last row of half double crochet. Okay, so I did another repeat of row four and five. So now I can show you how to end the um, for your last row. So let's just say that we're at the end of our scarf. We've done our four repeats and now we're ready to finish off our last row. So we're going to, we're not going to slip stitch in this row. We've just slip stitched to join. We're just going to chain one and we're going to put a half double crochet right back into that same stitch. Then in each chain space, we're going to put five half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. Now you can put them into the chains, into the, the uh, stitches of the chain, but I think it's just as easy to put it right around the chain. And then one half double crochet into that next single crochet. And then five half double crochet into the next chain space. Three, four, five. And then one half double crochet into the next single crochet. And you're going to work that pattern all the way around till you get back to the beginning. And then you'll slip stitch to join and you'll be finished. So I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. At the end of the very last round here and we're going to slip stitch to that first half double crochet that we made. And then we're going to just fasten right off. And then we just have to we just weave in your ends and your infinity scarf will be done. And this is just a little bit little sample swatch of the pattern. And I do have the larger one all completed right here. As you saw in the beginning in the thumbnail and also in the beginning pictures there, we had the completed infinity scarf. So right here. So if you've liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any of my tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.